Travis Brown again here. I've actually got a lot for you uh, coming in this video. We'll be fighting the Hattie Wolf primarily. H-A-T-I. Uh, that's a big dude. That's what he looks like. And you find him in the Fremenic area. He's level 654. And really, uh, it's not a big deal, but make sure you go and do it. So, I mean, it's no joke. Don't go up expecting an easy fight. He's a big boss. But if you go in groups, it will be pretty easy. And I'd really recommend going to World 2. Just hop hop over to World 2. You get a bunch of people trying to kill him. He spawns right next to that bear. You'll see it in a second. Boom, he's up. And I just jump in. I mean, I brought all three types of combat gear just in case because I fought him on a 138 before. But that was, last, ah, that was last year. But I hadn't done it on a pier before. But it's actually really easy. So you don't have to use any protects. But if you're right next to him, I pro melee everyone else pro mage you still take damage but not very much as you can see like the level 20 died there's his grave and people will repair your grave if no one else will i will but i mean it's pretty easy go in a small group and just mage him range him melee anything uh <laughs> i go pk mode whip out the g maul don't hit much and do like 250 damage and then you know go back to polypore immediately but I actually end up getting the last hit here, you'll see in a second. Um, I whip out the crossbow with my pro switches here. Boom, boom, boom. Got the uh, crossbow on. And this isn't it, it's the next hit. I think it's like a 150 KO. Yeah, 123, there it is. And then there you go, I get the Hattie Paws and the Hattie Cloak and the Hattie Head. And the Paws are what I want to talk about. They give you double experience, and that's a big deal here. So, yeah. Uh, make sure you go out and kill the Hattie Wolf, get these Hattie Paws, and they give you double combat experience for roughly a million experience, give or take, depending on your level. And as you can see, I brought them to uh, the Skeleton Gorillas on Ava Toll to use Chinchampas with. Um, Chinchampas, before the Hattie Paws um, update, cost 1400 each, and they went up about 500 GP in a week, which kind of sucks for me because I didn't buy in advance like I should have. Either way, um, I bought 5,000 of them, and so I'm going out, and I got two and a half levels in about an hour. But obviously I'm not going to show you an hour of recording, so I'm going to speed up certain parts. But yeah, you want to make sure that you've got decent prayer and decent range bonus. So I brought a Fury, Ranger Boots, Ancient Cloak for the prayer bonus, um, because the accumulator doesn't give you any prayer and you don't need to accumulate Chinchapas. Archer Ring for range bonus. Uh, the book for prayer bonus, monk robe top as leather top only gives you two ranged. DI chaps because you need the range bonus from that. And then I brought a regen uh, bracelet until you get enough gorillas for the Hattie Paws to be worth it. And um, I'll show you what I mean in a second here. I'd like to show you all how to get there. Um, it's pretty easy steps. And I really like the water graphics update they did. I mean, they did it a long time ago, but that looks, that's pretty good looking water. Um, and many people bring Grigory, obviously you don't have to, I didn't, so it's proof that you don't have to, but people will attack you, you get poison, it's annoying, like that, I take about 100 damage in a second and get poison, but, I mean, just throw pro melee on, go down, run all the way through, and there's a very particular spot that I stand in every time, there's two or three spots you can stand in, and, um, the one I stand in, and another one, are just about the exact same but I, I don't know I'm really comfortable in the spot that I go to every time so I'm gonna show you how to um, set up in that spot uh, it's just one square it's pretty easy but I'll make sure you understand the exact position and yeah uh, make sure you avoid the spike trips which I'll uh, hit on later and you keep pro melee on because the uh, zombie monkeys will do quite a fair amount of damage to you if you take that off and the poison spiders will poison you every time they hit you, even if they hit a zero. So make sure you bring an anti-poison. And I actually, in this trip, I ran out of my anti-poison halfway through my trip. But it's just really bad luck because the spider kept spawning and attacking me. Every five minutes, it would come in and attack me as soon as my anti-poison wore off. But after that, um, after I ran out of my potion, I only got poisoned once. So, I mean, it's all, it's like dueling or staking. You win some, you lose some. I lost some at the beginning, and then for the rest of the trip, I only got poison once. So, everything balances out. 
Alright, I actually went to the wrong spot as I haven't come to the um, skeleton gorillas in HD yet. So I got the spots confused, so I'm just going to pan ahead real quick to the correct spot. Yeah, I stopped in this corner outlet here for about a minute and I was like, oh wait a sec, derp, that's the wrong one. So here we go. I'm just going to magically pop up over there we go. Yeah, so you're going to keep following along. And I'm going to outline it for you right now. Um, as you see up in the top left, that's a spot you want to stand in. You're going to wait till your character's all the way in there, and then you just start auto retaliating. Make sure you put that range prayer on too, because you want to make sure you're doing uh, damage. And avoid the spike traps I outlined for you, real quick. Uh, they will poison you too, just walking over them. If you stand on top of one, it will continuously hit you over and over again. And that actually happens to me at one point, and I didn't bring food. So, I mean, worst case, I could have teleported, but it's really inconvenient to set all the way up and then teleport out before really getting set in. So, yeah, um, you're just going to use normal chinchampas in your regen bracelet. Don't put the pause on yet until you're getting about 300, 400 experience hits, because as you see occasionally when I check, yeah, there's only four or five skeletons here. And your chinchampas can hit up to 12, I believe. I could be mistaken, but it's more than four. It's either nine or 12. So you want to wait until you have, you know, 10 or so gorillas. So now I do. I also brought my aura. There you go. Sharpshooter. Mine's tier 1 because this is a new account. I started it less than a month ago. I don't have many low T points. But it's definitely worth bringing a 1 hour aura that boosts your accuracy because chinchampas are expensive. The more you can hit with them, the more you save. And uh, sorry about the lag here. Uh, that's just what I have to deal with when I play. So I guess welcome to my life here. But yeah, um, this is just a taste of what chinning would be like with Hattie Paws, just to give you a glimpse of it here. Um, I'm not going to bore you through all of it, but just giving you some drop downs, average hits, uh, how long it takes to level up. This is sped up four times, by the way. But uh, I was pulling 565,000 range experience an hour at 80 range. So um, one defense peers obviously can match that. People with Armadillo and Void can get probably upwards of 700k an hour. But again, that's only going to last for an hour or two because of the Hattie Paws. It'll wear off. But, I don't know, 700,000 range experience in an hour is pretty good. And I know you've seen a couple 1,000 plus experience drop downs. And when I get those, I just I feel really good on the inside. That's awesome. 1,000 experience in a single hit. But, uh... I get a 1,000 and I believe 93 experience drop later. Oh, here we go. And uh, I sped up to level up for you. This is me getting 82 right here. Boom. And I'm not going to put anything between 82 and 83. I'll skip right to 83 right now. And, uh, yep, here's 83. 83 range came about 28 minutes later, which is not bad at all. You can see all the pair pots in my inventory have been uh, diminished and there's the 1093 experience drop so here's a pecan clip I was in um, world 65 actually not many people do that anymore and I asked for a fight and she wanted me to skull so um, I asked unholy if I could skull on him and unlike most douches he's like sure just a uh, kick and I'm pretty sure I kicked to zero so it didn't hurt him in any way so yeah if people ask to poke on you just be courteous let them poke Oh, I did hit him. I'm a dick. Man, I'm such a douche. I, I hit 29. Man, I feel so bad. But yeah, it's uh, something I've never seen before. People PKing legitimately with bull off so that you can't run and spec. Uh, it actually caught me off guard twice. I thought it had worn off, so I tried to rush in with my G-Mall. And uh, to my great unhappiness, nothing happened. But as you'll see, uh, she tries to come in here with her G-Mall. Here it is. Boom. And her specs are 24 and 4. I probably should have died there. But, you know, that's a wilderness for you. Oh, yeah, and Smite kind of ruined my life here. So there's the first time. Can't get in with a G-Mall. Pretty bad. But Smite's continually eating away at my prayer. I try again with the G-Mall. Still can't move. Bad day. Um, I'm going to have to prayer pot here in a second. Yeah, there we go. Drinking the prayer pot. And I'm like, you know what? It's Rambo time. So I throw on the G-Mall, rush in, and combo. Boom. This is a 380 with the specs. It's not great, but there's a kill for you guys. Uh, I got like four more, but every time I went to spec, I turned off my recorder with the uh, hotkey 
which is right next to my uh, F5 key, which switches to the spec attack bar. So, oh, and here's a here's a little money making method for you. It makes like I don't know, maybe 100k an hour. So it's crap. Don't do it to make money. Do it for the fact that you get range experience and magic experience at the same time. Uh, the risk here is people, of course, can attack you as you're in the wilderness. But I have three sharks, and I got rushed <laughs> by someone uh, 15 levels. Um, sorry, not 15, five levels higher than me. And he chased me all the way in, and I only had to eat three sharks. So, I mean, it's not that huge of a risk. We just bring a cannon out here, and you can alk while it kills the dragons. But if you bring a crossbow, uh, your accuracy will be higher, and the cannon will actually hit more often. And, of course, you can kill the dragons faster and make more money. But I was just here to get experience, and to be honest, I was just going to have some fun. So, yeah, that's just a quick little thing for you. If anyone uh, wants to know, oh, I wonder what Sully's peer is doing right now. He's most likely out with a cannon in the wilderness, alking. Why? You know, no one really knows that. Here's some dueling clips. Uh, this is someone who asked for a deathmatch over YouTube, and I'm never going to turn down a challenge. It's fun. And it went back and forth. These are a couple of my KOs. Um, they were really fun. I mean, I love dueling with this um, this individual, and I love dueling with anyone. If you guys want to PK duel, let me know. It's uh, it's always fun to test out new combos. Here's my favorite. It's uh, like a rush test, and it's just full HP to nothing with... Uh... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, this guy. He tells me GF. I'm like, nah, man. Not you. KO him. Good stuff. He's like 20 levels above me. Here he is again. Turned his armor off. And his claws just destroy him. He hits a 240 when he's hoping for higher, and I finish him off with the mall no spec. That's about it for this uh, this video. I will get back with you as soon as I can. I hope this was interesting to some of you all. Uh, there's some more combos here for a couple seconds, but it's ending pretty soon. Uh, tell me if you like it. If you don't, what do you want? Uh, I'm pretty much making videos for you guys, so... <laughs> Let me know what you want to see in them, and I'll make sure it gets in there. And the, this is like level 120, so it shows that you know you don't need 99 attack to hit on 99 defense. My 50 attack hit him with my specs.